Does anyone know what number that is? Three. Three, you're right, three. So everyone can get their three craft sticks out. From the fall until now, I provided the children with different opportunities, using different materials, experiencing different numbers, three, four, and five. Are you looking at this? This is a four, okay? <laughs> All right, so. A four, a big, big four. I'm gonna make a three. That's a big four, that I is made, a big four. I made a um, K. A K, like Kayla, you did make a K. I can kind of see that. Yep, I can kind of see that. It's like the letter K, something like the letter K. So then we're gonna get how many out, Kayla? Three. Yep. Oh. One, two. Okay, you can make your designs. You're the last one. Are you gonna leave it? You're gonna hold it? It's gonna be hard for it to stand up, don't I'm you gonna think? I'm gonna do a lot. It's gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Well, mine's just different. Than I did a lot. It is different. This is what I'm going to do, a seven. Okay. Look what I'm making. Wow. We're going to talk about it. So, Eli, you said yours is kind of like a what? A monster. A monster. And what is, what is yours, Ilya? A square. A square. Because, because it has four lines. It does. The squares do have four lines. You're exactly right. All right. And what did you make over there, Frano? What does yours kind of look like? A tic-tac-toe board. It does look like a tic-tac-toe board. You're right. How about you, Robert? Um, I'm going to make a four. A triangle? A triangle? I made, I made Kinda. a Z. You did make a Z. And then I didn't make anything that looks like anything. I just kind of had lines, two lines you this way. and two. An Kinda, if I turned it this way and maybe made it look like this, would be kind of an L, wouldn't it? Or a yeah. V, maybe? I have two on the top uh -huh. and beyond facing down. Okay, all right. Thank you, all right. Ava, can you describe yours? Okay. okay. And one in the middle. Okay, so you have two and one and two. All right, so how many is that? Five. Five, awesome. All right, okay, Anastasia, can you describe yours? I put one, two, three, four, four here and one here, and that makes five. That does, you're right. Four, should, Anastasia should four here and one here, and that makes five. All right, so now let's see if we can make a different way. So put your, um, your green piece of paper to the side, so, so ours is the same because you have three and then two out. Two out. So we because they, these are the same because there's three and two out, and that makes how many? Five. Five. All right. These look like angels. You think so? <laughs> Maybe. Are they similar? Are they the same in any way? They have two of them facing down and two facing down and two facing down and two facing down. Right. And then how many do they have in the middle? One. One. So maybe the, that group could be two facing down and two facing down and one in the middle? Is that how you describe it? Okay. So that group can maybe be grouped together if you describe it that way. Does anyone else see any? Yeah, the little, the little at the bottom, it's different? Yeah. Yeah. But it's the same amount of cubes though, right? I'm actually has two like four right here. Mm -hmm. One has one that mm -hmm. looks like an arm. Okay, and what about this one? This, how many does this one have? This one has the same thing. What's the same thing? One has one out and four has four in. Right, so there's four and one, and that's how many? Five. And then this one has? Right, but how many is on this side? 
four. Four and? One. So could that be in a group together? Okay. All right. And this I spent a good chunk of the school year really focusing on smaller numbers because I really wanted kids to understand what the number really meant. So three is three no matter how you combine it or how it's set up or displayed. And they know the different combinations that make up the small numbers, whether it's three, four, or five. And so they understand that, you know, two and one in a combination is three. Or, you know, three lined up in a row, one, one, and one is three. So the more we look at smaller numbers and they really get the gist of what three really is and what four really is and what five really is, they start making connections with, oh, that's two and three, that's five. And so they really do understand that the different combinations that it still is that total, that whole part of the five. So I really do think it's important for kids to have that foundation of the smaller numbers so they can eventually move on to bigger numbers and understanding how to take apart bigger numbers.